G'day and welcome back to Ordinary Adventurers in Oz. We're heading off on a trip. Oh, I love this sort of thing. And it's uh, done age, which is good. Um, the other thing that's good, as you can see, power and water. Um, and there's a heap of power and water sites. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's all pretty flat. Which makes it nice and easy if you want to come in. As you can see, our van's not exactly an um, off-road van. So... We had no drummers getting in here at all. Um, nice green, there's some unpowered camping up uh, up that way. And then the golf club facilities uh, are up there. They're closed when we're here, it's over the Christmas break. Um, but that's pretty cool. You know, it's got um, kids playground, there's a tennis court, and uh, presumably all the golf courses, more golf holes, I don't know, whatever they're called, um, are down. down over this way so yeah if you're heading up sort of between Narrabri and um, Moree definitely a place that's worthwhile stopping into um, yeah I can say it's pretty empty there's one other van here and there was a ute with a couple of swag set up as well so it's pretty cool So we're going to pack up um, and head up to Moree, we're going to have a couple of nights, or a night at least, um, in one of the caravan parks that's got um, mineral pools, which will be nice, and a bit of a soak because it's like already, well it's about last nine and it's about 25, 30 degrees already. So we'll head up there and we'll give you a look around there once, uh, once we get there. We're just leaving but this is the front of the of course campground donation camp thing so there's the tennis court that I mentioned uh, in that big black thing um, and the kids playgrounds over there undercover so that's pretty cool that's the entry point as I said great gravel road all the way in and that's the I don't know, free camping unpowered camping whatever you want to call it in there it's a really good place you know, 10, 20 bucks, whatever you want to do. Um, have a yarn to the people if they're here, find out what they reckon's fair, um, and take advantage of it. Great place. And so it's just hit Queensland. I was going to show you around Moree, but I mean, ultimately that was a bit caravan park. Um, and we busted our TV. And ended up having to go and buy another one. Anyway, we had a bit of a swim in the and stuff like that uh, but too many people around to film stuff so we'll up here for a bit of a break and you can camp here there's a guy right up over there and yeah this is one of the few places where um, the township on both sides of the river which is the border uh, has the same name. Really interesting little place, sort of, if that's interesting. So, yeah. So we're, the plan is we're going to keep heading on um, up to a place called St George. Um, we're going to stay probably in a caravan park there as well. But this is just such a well set up little place. Playground for the kids, um, toilets, fish cleaning station, little boat ramp that I just walked down. And you can drive down there and Camp on the edge of the river. Nice. So a little ways up the road is the town of Thowan. And it has side of life. And 
presumably a big pile of grain over there under that board. And we stopped here a few times and I well, just you know, pull up and have a quick look. But what wasn't here from last time is a campground. So you can see just down here of the green um, power water campsites. And there's a little barbecue area over the back. Some sort of shady ish sites over there. But yeah, it's hot. Uh, a little barbecue areas down there beside the van. Or picnic areas really. So yeah, pretty neat. Um, yeah, just down the road there's a uh, giant wombat with a... You know, it's Christmas time so he's got a Christmas hat on. We didn't pull up there. Just wanted to come and have a look here. Anyway, I always like this one. Anyway, we're, as I said earlier, we're on our way up to um, St George. But I think we might even pull in at the Nindigali pub and have a look there. So true to our word, um, after we left the silos and having a bit of a break, we got to Nundagilly pub. There it is. Um, we just took a few snaps and didn't run around with uh, the GoPro. That's pretty cool. And a couple of hours later, we pulled up for sunset at uh, a caravan park just outside of St George. After wandering around a bit, we decided to go on a bit of a river cruise. Um, basically it was hot um, and we thought it would be fun to, to have a bit of a, a river cruise late in the afternoon watching the wildlife on the banks of the river. I'll throw some photos up. It's pretty cheap, found it on Wikicamps, highly recommend it. Um, yeah, the only thing that's probably interesting that you need to know, uh, bring your own um, snacks and drinks. After we left St George, we got into one awesome storm. Uh, the GoPro here just doesn't do it justice, so um, you can sort of hear the noise in the background from it. But yeah, rain on both sides of the car, and we were just in a little bit of a loop. Anyway, after a whole bunch of time driving, we found ourselves um, in a little town called Texas, Queensland. And just outside of the township itself, there's this great little free camp. Camera, um, and was talking about um, how we've enjoyed our time here. Um, it's a free camp just outside of Texas. I'll put the wiki camps thing up. Um, but the wind was so bad this morning that uh, the audio on the GoPro was just completely unusable. So I came back in um, and did it as a voiceover. So sorry about that, um, just one of the things. But yeah, great campsite, free, no power, no water, a couple of big bins down towards the front. Not sure if there's a toilet there, but there certainly is a creek. And we had a great time uh, just having a bit of a swim and a splash around. It was so hot while we were there. And again, all you can hear on the GoPro uh, for this part of it was um, bubbles and splashing and uh, boring conversations. Anyway, about here we started looking at the clouds and thinking, hmm, we're going to get 
rain and storms and whatnot. So um, having just come out of that stuff out at um, St George, we thought we might head back up to the van, um, get the fire going and have ourselves uh, a bit of a campfire dinner. So didn't take us long, got it all going and yeah, had a great feed. Next morning we left. Uh, this is a drive out. So we're just turning into the little town of Texas. Um, neat little service town. It's about I don't know, maybe a five minute drive from the campground. Um, didn't show all of that. Um, but yeah, a lot of services here. Um, not a lot of action on the day we were through because I think it was a weekend. Um, but yeah, definitely worthwhile uh, a stopover in that campground. Heaps of services here. There's even... Um, hot showers that are free in town or at least i think they're free um and there's also um a water fill point just outside of town uh, it's one of those ones where you the council have set them up and you tap your card and uh and fill your tanks up so yeah really convenient little spot but anyway that's about it for this video we're now heading out of town um and heading back to home sort of thing um Hope you've enjoyed this. Just a really brief look around at what we got up to in one of our first big trips with the new caravan. If uh, if you've got a comment about the trip um, or you want to correct anything that I've said that's wrong, feel free to drop it in the comments below. Um, otherwise, if you like this um, sort of content, um, please uh, hit like and consider subscribing. Uh, it gives me a little bit of encouragement to sit down, muck around and, and make these videos.